Hello everyone, it's Lisa. I'm here today to give you my January 2017 wrap up. Now, I feel kind of bad a little bit. This month I only read three books and although they were all really thick, big books, um, I had a hard time reading this month. I enjoyed the three books that I did read, but I wasn't so quick to pick them up. I was really wrapped up, I think, in the news and watching Netflix and other things and some nights didn't read at all. So I had a rough reading month but I'm going to show you the three books that I read and tell you a little bit about them. So the first book I'm really excited to have finally read is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I think I jumped on the Sarah J Mass bandwagon and decided to give this a go first. Um, I do love Beauty and the Beast, and so this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Court of Thorns and Roses follows a 19-year-old huntress, and her name is Feyre. And I'm glad that Sarah J. Mass thought to put a pronunciation guide in the back of this first book because I don't think I would have said that that way. So, Feyre, she kills a wolf in the woods, and then a beast-like creature comes to her home and... He demands retribution. He takes Feyre to his castle and eventually sees that he's not a beast at all. But he, his name is Tamlin and he is one, um, one of the fairies that rules the world. So as she dwells on his estate, her feelings um, for him change. She was at first very hostile and upset for what happened and then... Her relationship with him turns into a passionate one and that burns through all of the lies that she's ever been told about fairies and, and fairies in that world. So the book is, is interesting to follow. I enjoyed following the story, uh, a little bored at times, but uh, towards the end it really uh, came into this big scene that I won't say too much about but uh, leads away into the next book. So the next book is A Court of Mist and Fury. And honestly, I read the first book to get to the second book only because so many people were talking about it and how good it was. So in A Court of Mist and Fury, Feyre um, survives a woman named Amarathas' death wish on her. And she actually does die she comes, Vera comes back with the powers of a high fairy, but still has a human heart. And she did some things at the end of the first book that she cannot forget about in the second book and goes through this depression of sorts and battles with herself, uh, mostly of guilt and things that she did that she's not proud of to save Damlin and his court. But once she gets back to his court, he is so blinded by protecting her that he kind of shuts her down and doesn't let her out of the house. And at the last um, point, before the story changes, he actually um, makes a wall around the house and locks her in so that she can't get out of the house. So in the end of the first book, she made a bargain with one of the other high lords and his name was Reasoned. And Reese is a completely different character than Tamlin. And it was interesting to see the way Sarah J. Mass would compare the two, one being a stifling lover who wants to protect the maiden, but then after all that she's been through, she's not looking for that anymore and she's changed and she needs some freedom. And that's something that Reese was was able to give to her. Reese trains her in, teaches her to read and takes care of her in ways that Tamlin wasn't able to. And I really did enjoy the depthness of this story. It was as touching as everyone has said it was. And so I did enjoy that book. Probably give it four stars, maybe the first book three stars. And I'm interested to see where the third book leads. I definitely will be reading that because I did enjoy the second book so much. Court of Thorns and Roses is about 415 pages. 
and A Court of Mist and Fury was over 620 pages. So right there, we're, we're talking about a lot of reading. And the last book that I read this month is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And I loved this book. It was so good. Heard so many great reviews about it and decided to pick it up. And I enjoyed the story. For me, I compared it to, even though it was a magical story of sorts, the only other really large book that I've read that I can feel like I can compare it to is um, Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth. Now, they're different stories, of course. This one is a more magical realism story. Learning about the main character, his name is Quoth, and how he grew up and with his family and what happened to them. He tells the story himself, which is kind of neat to see everything through his perspective. So how he ends up becoming an orphan and growing up in the streets, begging for food, and then going to university where he will study um, magic. So the book wasn't like a magical Harry Potter magical. I felt like the characters were more human and had more human emotions. And I really did enjoy learning about each of the characters and the depth of both and his story that was told. It was really very interesting. So the name of the wind, hmm, thinking over 650 pages. So if I add everything together, I think I read well over 1700 pages this month, which I'm not going to be too upset about, I guess, but it only ended up to be three books. And so I did start I had The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer on my TBR for the month, and I read about a chapter and decided to DNF it. Um, it was a little bit too much detail for me, and my mind just wasn't in it, and I wasn't getting it after the first chapter and just decided to, to not continue with it because I had these other books that I really wanted to read. So as for my February TBR, I'm going to add the books that I didn't read um, on my January one to my February one, the one book, one book I started reading uh, last night, and I know I still have a few days left of January, but um, it was on my January TBR is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bordugo. And I read um, a chapter and I think I'm going to like it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with this one for February into February. Another book I had on my January TBR that I did not get to, which is another large book, is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and this is going to be on my February TBR as well. I will um, be adding this. Two books that I'm adding this month are books that are coming out into movies this year, and I'm really excited to read them. So the first book is The Circle by David Edgars. This is a library book for me, so I'm sure I'll be getting uh, this more attention and reading this early on in the month. The Circle is a movie uh, with Tom Hanks and Emma Watson, and that is coming out April 28th. So excited to read this one. Another book that I got from the library that is coming out into a movie is The Zookeeper's Wife. I believe it's a story about World War II, which I know um, I will enjoy. Diane Ackerman is the author. And this is coming out um, March 30th, the movie. So uh, I saw a preview for it when I went to see another movie and it looked really good. So I'm going to read this, hopefully this month. One book that I don't have yet that I'm going to read uh, in February is Caraval Stephanie by Stephanie Garber. And I'm reading this uh, because of a read along with Kim at Writer Princess and Adrian at Share Inspire Journey Dream. And I'll put their link down below. They're going to be doing a read along this month of Caraval. And if you'd like to join in, I'm sure it will be a whole lot of fun. And then finally, the last book I have on my list for the month, another ambitious month, I guess, for me, is The Dollmaker by Harriet Arno. Now, I received this book in a video called Five Book Recommendation and Giveaway by Jen Campbell and Will at Vintage Books. I won this one and am going to read it sometime this month with a review. So that's all I have for now. I'm hoping to do a little better in February as far as my reading goes. I hope to be a little more focused um, 
I don't think it's a breathing slump. I think it's more of just being really distracted. I know I had my youngest son who's 12. He was home all week with strep throat and some car trouble. Just, you know, life happens, things happen, and I just can't get that reading time in or I just don't feel like it. So hopefully February will be a better month for me. And I thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.